<laughs> There's the committee. Um, that was at our last meeting. It was very balmy in Geneva. Um, so yeah, the committee set up was 14 experts. So 10, so it was 10 from parties, two from each of the five UN regions, and one from the global coordination group of the global monitoring plan. There would have been an expert from the compliance committee, but we have no committee, so the, there was no compliance person. I kind of informally <coughs> played that role. Um, and then two experts in the field of effectiveness evaluation. Um, so the secretariat invited two additional chemicals experts. And we had the potential of using experts from a roster, but we never did. And then I was elected chair and my vice chair. Oh yeah, he's the, he's the tall fellow right behind me in the picture uh, from Antigua, Barbuda. So we had two meetings, three days and four days, and it was not enough time. So one of our recommendations, like any good committee, we recommended that we should have more time to meet as a committee. But it was very difficult to get through the material we had. The secretary prepared a really good report. It was like 150 pages of just analysis of how each of the articles was doing. And the first meeting we had of three days, we didn't get through all of it. We got through most of it, but not all of it. The, the next time, we the four-day meeting, we were trying to come up with, on the basis of this 150-page report, we were trying to finalize an executive summary for the Conference of the Parties to approve, um, as well as um, commentary on the framework, whether it needed to be improved, as well as approving the big 150-page uh, analysis document. So that's a lot to do in four days. And, you know, you have people, the committee, we're from all over the world and we're working in English. It's not as easy for everybody. And people have different viewpoints. And so sometimes you have to hash out issues. And so four days, we, we felt that two five-day meetings is what was necessary. But the, the big, big work happened intersessionally. And if you ever get asked to be on one of these committees, uh, especially for the, the chair and the vice chair, we, we worked with the secretariat. Like, so we would look at multiple drafts before it ever got to the committee. And uh, so that was a lot of work. But the secretariat uh, brought in expertise from, you know, I don't know, 20 different people inside the secretariat who uh, were experts on different parts of the Stockholm Convention. And uh, what's important about that is the whole secretariat was engaged in this process. And when we had our meetings, we, we were sitting there as a committee deliberating. We had all the secretariat experts just coming through, coming through and advising us on any question we had. So it was quite effective having it in Geneva. Um, and uh, the, the importance, though, of the intersessional work, I can't stress enough, because that's where... We would send out a version to the whole committee. We'd get all the comments back. We'd work through all the comments and keep doing this uh, for, for months on end. So, um, yeah, it was a, quite a, a lengthy process.